Hello everyone, today I'm sharing my top five best and worst luxury purchases in my collection. And we're gonna be sticking towards more recent purchases just so I can kind of give you a review on things, reason why these things are awesome or why they suck, they're bad, do not buy, it's a waste of money. We're gonna be covering a lot of things, but we're gonna be starting off on a positive note and then flip-flopping between negative and positive and happy, sad, all the, all the feelings. So first, this Gucci bag, yes, I love this bag. I highly recommend it. If you're if you're drawn to this, I say go for it. If if you if you want, if you're into this kind of thing, this is such a good price for the bag. It's a terrible price. It like all of these things cost too much money. Um, but for what you get and it being like a luxury bag for the size of it, the functionality of it, I think this is awesome. So this is under a thousand dollars, which again, too expensive, but actually pretty good for a luxury bag, but it holds so much. It's so versatile in the fact that it is a shoulder bag. It's adjustable. So you can make it a shoulder bag, but then you can also change it to be a crossbody bag. I love the style of it. It's kind of a mix between old school, Gucci and like new school Gucci. And again, okay, so there's a con. Let me just get the con out of the way. It's the zipper. It's not terrible, but if you know me at all, I am so into buttery, smooth zippers. So this is this zipper. So it's not terrible. It's just not like that ultra smooth luxury zipper that I kind of would expect. But I feel like with time, it's actually gotten better. Um, but then inside, look at it. I mean, it's just like massive, which I have it kind of stuffed. I have like my catch all thing in there. It's just, it, it holds so much as a separate compartment in there, like a zipper compartment. Just I, like I said, for the price, the style, everything, this is so worth it and one of my best purchases. And just so you know, I will have everything linked down below, like the new versions of items and the pre-loved versions of items to try to save you guys some money if you happen to be interested in anything. But let's move on to a bag I hate. Okay, I despise this bag. That sounds so harsh and I honestly cannot explain it, but when I visibly or visually, yes, look at this bag. I get that bad, annoying, sinking feeling. I just wanna sell it. I told you guys a while back I was going to sell it and then I got lazy, it got complicated on Facebook and Instagram and I just didn't. So if anyone wants this bag, email me. We can, we can work out a deal because I don't want it. It's this Chloe bag. I don't know why I don't like this bag. It's like when I hold it up here, I'm like, yeah. It looks, it looks nice, but then inside I'm like, no, I don't like it. And I think it's just because, like it's a nice, pretty beigey taupe color. I love the gold hardware. I actually quite like how it is like a mix of gold and silver hardware, but I think it's just because like to get into it, it's just like oddly, like you, it's so hard. It's so hard in my opinion to, to get into the bag. It has like this weird thing that's like always in the way. There is like a strap you can connect it to. I think it's pretty, it's just, it's just annoying. Okay, so moving along to something that's not a handbag. This whole video is not just about bags. We've got items in many categories, but we're moving on to something that I love. I look at every single day, multiple times a day, and I'm obsessed. And it's my Cartier Just Clue nail bracelet. And Josh surprised me with this for Christmas and I was blown away. I love it. If you know me, then you'll know that I would much rather have a piece of Cartier jewelry than any handbag, pair of shoes, designer belt, like anything. Like I love Cartier. Some people love Tiffany, some people love, like whatever. Everyone has their own thing. And this is just awesome because you never have to take it off. It always looks so beautiful. You can look at it every day and enjoy it. And yes, I'm obsessed. So I have, you know, I have a few other, like I have some rings. I do have the love bracelet and then this just and clue bracelet is my newest thing. And I I just, I love it. I like, if you're again into this kind of thing and you're like on the fence with the, the this particular style, I definitely recommend it. I enjoy it every single day. I keep saying that. Mine does have the diamonds on the, the nail head. It's not all around the bracelet. That's $90,000. People were commenting like, I can't believe he spent $90,000 on a bracelet. That's ridiculous. No, he did not. But there is some diamond accent on the very, like the very end of it. And I do think that that just adds a little bit. It's just like a little pop. Like I, I just love it. I don't think you have to do that, but I'm secretly glad he did. So moving along to the not so positive side of jewelry, this next bracelet is definitely a worst purchase. I never wear it. I probably should just sell it. It's in great condition, uh, but it's the Louis Vuitton monogram bracelet. And I, 
think it's pretty. I just don't like how you have to take it on and off every day. You cannot shower with this. You just have to kind of baby it because it is costume jewelry. It was kind of pricey. I mean, not even, not as pricey as this. So there's that. But it's just, I'm just not somebody that does like to take my jewelry on and off every day. You might do that already, in which case this is totally irrelevant to you. But this is just about me. <laughs> this is my channel. No, I just, I just have it sitting there and it's still in really good condition. I just, it, I just, I don't ever wear it. It just wasn't worth the money to me. While we're at it, I just thought I'd throw this in the video. This is the Valentino bracelet. It's a leather wrap bracelet. I do really like this. I don't wear it as much as I should, purely just because I forget. I forget to take my jewelry on and off, but I do, I, I do really like this one. And we're back to a bag. So this is probably my best handbag purchase of all time. And it is a vintage Chanel single flap bag. And it has the large CCs that I'm very drawn to. It's also gold plated, which you can tell by that little imprint there in the corner. They don't do that anymore. Just the whole bag you can tell is just made way better than they make bags now. It's also lambskin, which has scared me in the past. I have had other lambskin bags that are just like so marked up. This, you can't even make a mark on it. Like even if I wanted to. So I've heard in the past that vintage lambskin is just so much better than present day lambskin. And I can now a thousand percent agree with that. And I also wanna say I do love the beige color, but every time I put it in a video, the color just comes up wrong. It's not as yellowy as it, it's coming up on camera. It's actually a very neutral beige. So pretty. So when I open it up though, as I mentioned, it is a single flap and it holds so much, but it's so easy to get in and out of. And it's also very lightweight. So it just feels awesome on the shoulder. So I am so glad that I found it. Okay, this next one saddens me because I do not want it to be in the worst category because I thoroughly enjoy looking at it. I just have not used it at all. It is the Louis Vuitton Nice BB which I think that's what it's called. But anyway, it's literally sat on my shelf as a decor piece for the last year, which is ridiculous. And I don't know if it's just because like we haven't really traveled much in the last year, obviously, so I haven't used it. But even so, I have like, I have visualized using this. At, I was even proactive. And look, well, also the zipper, not so great. Could be better, yeah. Um, but I was proactive and I, I even bought an insert to protect the inside so that, so that if I you know, spilled makeup in there or whatever, it would be protected, it would be organized. Even though the inside actually is very wipeable, but still, like just think about the size here. Like I want it to be a good size to hold all of my products, but it's so tall. And I just imagine like packing this in a suitcase, wouldn't it just get smushed? Like, I feel like it would just get smushed and then it would get like all weirdly shaped. I don't know. Like I said, I don't want this to be the, a worse purchase. I just haven't used it. And I really should. Moving along to another Louis Vuitton item that is the best. This is so not a recent purchase. I am just purely putting it in the video because I get asked so much about wallets. You guys really like wallets. I really like wallets. Everyone wants to know the best wallet to buy. And here I am again here to say this Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet. It's just the best in my opinion. And it's just like a compact wallet. And I think that's why I love it so much. If you're somebody that does change handbags from time to time, this is what you should get because it's actually pretty big for a mini wallet, but you can easily switch it in between so many different sized bags. And I love the Louis Vuitton monogram canvas. Like I said, I have been carrying this for years at this point. It still looks brand new and you just open it up. It holds a lot of cards. It also has a compartment for coins and then obviously a big compartment for money or cash or whatever. It's just like the size of it is substantial yet mini at the same time. So this has been a best purchase for sure. Next, we're moving on to shoes, which is counting as many worst purchases. Basically, I should never buy designer luxury shoes because I never wear them. I have no luck and I'm just gonna start pulling them out. This is gonna count as a few because here we go. These Chanel, uh, what are they? You know, these are like the classic Chanel shoes that everyone, the slingbacks, that's what I'm trying to say. To look at them, beautiful. Do I ever wear them? No, this little slingback doesn't stay on my heel and it's the right size. Like I cannot, like it has to be the size yet this, it doesn't work. So no, don't recommend those. Um, Gucci 
loafers. I've said this time and time again, Sam Edelman, that's what you should do. I know it's, it's a kind of a copycat, but they are so much more comfortable than these. I can't even get these on my feet half the time because of the leather being so incredibly stiff, which I know the quality is so much better. You know, I'm sort of the stitching, like they would maybe last longer, but they are just not comfortable in my opinion. Um, so I don't recommend those. And then these, <laughs> let's just talk about these rock studs, which I have, they're Valentino rock studs. I have definitely worn these. I just feel like, what are your thoughts? I, I kind of just wanted to put them in your in the video just to get your thoughts. Like, do you think that these are still in style? Are these kind of out of style? Let me do know down below. I'm genuinely curious. I love the rock stud sandals. I have those and I wear them. Like, it seems like summer after summer, I wear, I wear them. But these, I just didn't really get that much wear out of them. And I feel like if I were to wear them now, part of me would be like, is it, is it okay? Like, and it, it sounds probably ridiculous. I'm just literally being honest. I, I don't know. So let me know your thoughts on these. So here is another recent purchase and I actually get asked about it quite a lot. It is the YSL or Saint Laurent Lulu puffer bag. And I am here to say it is definitely one of my best purchases. It is so soft and gushy and comfortable. I just love wearing it. Like it's just like really, really comfortable to wear. And I love the black on black. The hardware is kind of like a matte black. So it kind of is chic and edgy, but still my style, I just, thoroughly enjoy carrying it, especially with the, the versatile straps. So as you can see, you can easily make it a shoulder bag or a crossbody bag, and then it's a magnetic closure. I feel like getting in and out of bags easily is just a really big thing for me. So I love that. And then it's just massive inside. Like it's a massive bag, but still not like too overwhelming on my frame or anything. So for all of you wondering, definitely a best purchase. And that is everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing or following down below, and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye.